okay, this is a, maybe a sign that the apocalypse is finally upon us uh, and we've, got, we've gone totally weird. So this is a, a kid's cell phone. It's advertised as being for toddlers and it's got all these little toddler games and stuff, but it's actually a functioning cell phone. You can get a SIM card and put this thing in and your toddler can make phone calls. I got to check this feature out and see, uh, see, if, see what kind of phone it actually is, but uh, uh, it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, people agonize over when do you get your kid uh, their phone? And I mean, they're thinking, okay, when they turn 13 and a teenager, maybe, but when they turn three, I'm not so sure about that, but let's take a look inside, see what this thing does and see if it's appropriate for a three-year-old. Okay, you see, you know, it's being advertised as a kid's mobile phone. We see a couple little kids there uh, on the package and that's specifically what it says. Ah, it comes with some, <laughs> some animal tiles. Uh, these don't seem to be something that you would use in a, uh, in a normal phone call, but uh, you might use them in a memory game or something. I don't know. So how those fit in with it, we'll, we'll, we got to find out. Um, a SIM extractor, I'm not sure uh, that, uh, a very small user manual, and then the phone itself. So uh, it looks like a cell phone. Um, let's see, let's see. We're missing one thing here in this box which is uh, a uh, regular charging cable. This is a uh, USB-C charging cable. We like USB-C charging whenever possible. Okay, so we're gonna have to find out how this thing works. And I guess the first thing is gonna be to get it just charged up and see what it does. Charges up with a USB-C cable, just like a regular phone. And in fact, it's exactly the same screen I see on some other phones. So it's like they're using the same, the same hardware and firmware as a Android phone. Well, I'm really disappointed in this kid's cell phone. Um, you know, it's a it's a it's an Android tablet that has a lot of uh, games and stuff in it, which is kind of cool. But it's also supposed to be a phone, so you can do location services and track your kid. And even there, your toddler is supposed to be able to make a phone call. I wanted to see how all that worked, and unfortunately, this guy will not even recognize a standard SIM. So um, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a do not buy product, one star. Um, and uh, even if the other features are any good, the one compelling thing about it doesn't work, and so it's no good. Um, I'm going to give you my, uh, I'm going to walk you through so that you can see that I know how to install a SIM and you can see what happens when I try to install it and see that it doesn't work. I'm going to do it with two different SIMs and uh, then we'll just tell this guy, uh, no thanks, go away. We do not want you. Okay, so we're going to walk through this on a known good SIM. This one's from Mint Mobile and it's in this, it's installed in this phone. Um, so First thing I want to tell you is you're going to see a phone number here, and I want to assure you that this phone number is a time and temperature recording. Uh, you do not, I'm not giving away any personal information. So this is a number in Raleigh just demonstrating that this SIM is working. Time and temperature is coming up after this. Okay, so we know this SIM works. Now we're going to, we're going to take it out of this phone, and I'll spare you the, some of the pain of this by um, time uh, putting this into time lapse. But okay, now the first weird thing is this guy doesn't take a SIM in any format. He ships with these carriers, so you have to put it into this carrier in order to insert it into the device this nano SIM carrier. So the nano SIM carrier has got plastic on one side and it's open on the other side. So we know that the uh, metal contacts have to go in the open side and we got a notch. So we know it has to go in like that. So that's the only viable way to do it. If we open up the side of this guy, there's one thing labeled TF, which is what they tend to call SD cards in China. We call them TF. And then there's a slot there that says SIM. And you know how it is with SIM cards. If you don't insert it the right way, it won't click into place. And if you do, it will. So I'm gonna push it in and push it in with my thumbnail and it's seated, okay? So now it's properly in place. And we'll put the power on. And it's a little hard to see, I'm gonna hold it up here. No SIM card, no service, okay? Maybe there's some setting that we have to find um, in the parental controls. Go to the, uh, you know, the settings, security, change parent password, lock home button, nothing there. Settings, this is gonna take you to uh, storage path feedback, Android settings. And on Android, we just have the SIM manager there. It's completely grayed out. And normally I would expect to find, you know, network information on here and there's nothing there. So we just do not have access to, um, to this SIM. So 
So this particular sim doesn't work. Um, we're going to try it with one more just to verify it. But this is an example of what I've been going through with this. Just to beat a dead horse, we're going to do this one more time with a different sim. This one's from US Mobile. It's coming out from a different Android phone. And uh, we're going to see if we can get it to be recognized by the uh, kitty phone again. OK, here's our Android phone. Uh, give it uh, facial recognition. There we go. Run the phone. And uh, let's call this uh, time and temperature number. Again, this is not a personal phone number. We're not revealing any personal information. This is a recording. Call it. The time and temperature is coming up after this. There you go. And voila. Our US mobile. Let's see if we can focus on that. US mobile sim. Once again, we use our carrier. Once again, it only fits in one way. Okay, locked in place. Let's power it up. And as you see, no SIM card, no service. There's that number, which is the time and temperature. Mobile number not available. Okay. And the one final question you can be asking is, hey Mark, maybe you put the SIM in upside down. And uh, that's a good question, but you know how these SIM slots work. When you put the SIM in upside down, it will not lock in place. And I'm not gonna demonstrate it because on this phone, when you put it in upside down and push it in, it doesn't lock in place, but it doesn't come back out enough. It's really hard to get out. I have to actually use a pair of pliers to get it out. So, fail. So that's it for this phone. It doesn't operate as a phone. Do not buy. I, I just wanna let you know that uh, I am honored by Amazon to be in the Vine program and I take it very seriously. I work really hard with my family to do reviews on these products. Um, we have a lot of fun doing it. We get to see a lot of interesting things. And what I hope more than anything is that my reviews help you make good selections for your products. If they do, that's good for you, it's good for me, and it's good for Amazon. Uh, hope you enjoyed the review.